The story is really engaging. And what I love about it is that Jen has brought reality to it. She's, she's really grounded it so that it's a world that we believe in. So it's not a world that's entirely dissimilar to our own. It's, uh, it looks the same as our own world. She doesn't have a desire for violence. She just wants to get the job done as efficiently as possible. She is a bounty hunter, but it was interesting to look at what that was, really what the function of a bounty hunter is. Well, it is a job. And I was interested in the, so, the type of person that elects to choose that job. I think Amandla is, an, is a beautiful soul. I really do. Um, she's so, she's a generous actor and she's kind and she is considerate. And it's so heartening when someone is so uh, young, and, and, and physically, she's, she's so exquisite and because she's so self-possessed, but she has humility and she's, she has real grace. She's a pleasure to work with. She is clearly very intelligent. She's extremely compassionate uh, and, and very supportive and enthusiastic, but she has a real measured intelligence. It's an excellent story that's very entertaining and compelling that happens to be written by a woman. I think there's a director that has a clear vision and, uh, and a refreshing vision who happens to be a woman. I think there's a brilliant lead who has a, a amazing charisma, energy, and uh, ability as, as an actor who happens to be female. I think that's really where the focus is now. I think it, it is about the hopefulness of the human spirit and that fear shuts things down. Fear closes things down, but hope opens us all up to each other. Hi there, so did you like the video? Well, stay with me as I have a bonus, if somewhat controversial, behind the scenes movie fact for you. D.W. Griffith, a pioneering Hollywood film director, is credited with using the first close-up, the long shot, the fade-out, and other film techniques in his 1915 groundbreaking and highly racist film, The Birth of a Nation, aka The Klansman, a film that portrayed the Ku Klux Klan in a positive way. What's your favorite all-time movie? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See you next time.